Hey guys, on Gaming back with you again. More Crusader Kings 2. And when we left off, we quashed a rebellion here. I think we still have her imprisoned, maybe? Or did I already execute her? Strong tap. Yep, she's already gone. So, at this point, there's two holy orders worth picking up. And I'm going to give a little bit of time for my troops to rebuild. I also have a lot of buildings building. But it may be a good time to get back involved in the crusade. There's not a whole lot of people here. And I just realized who we're fighting. The name of his region is Fatty Mid. So we're beating up on Fatty. And, uh, that sounds a little rude to beat up on Fatty, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. So, first things first, I wanna check my status with my vassals. I think everyone loves me. How old am I now? Wow, I'm 46? I gotta get rid of my wife and get a new one. How many heirs do I have? Oh, I have three heirs. I'm good. And... Let's just check our vassals' opinions. Okay, lots of hundreds. Alright, why are these people low? Excuse me. I'm a tyrant. Uh, small feudal tax. Stop blinking. Come on. There we go. Crown authority to me, duchies. Desires duchy of Ulster. So, basically, if I get rid of one of these duchies, I should be good. And who are you? Duke of Lannister. So he's the Duke of these two. Right? Duchy of Ulster. Why is that country think it's part of Duchy of Ulster? And this thinks it's part of part of Duchy of Lannister. I'm confused. Who is this guy anyways? Hmm. So what's this guy think of me? He seems okay. Now my son though is only a vassal or a duke of this little tiny area, isn't he? We need to give him some more power, so... He's not married? Holy crud, I gotta take care of that. All right, first of all, let's give you a landed title, son. Ulster. Why is that Ulster now? Can I not fix it? All right, so I give him the Duchy of Ulster. I don't like how it's split up. It's annoying to me. Alright, so the County of Palermo, yeah, I'm keeping a hold of that one. The Duchy of Connacht and Duchy of Meath, those are mine. And Tyconel. Yeah, we're going to give you... If you rebelled against me, that would be pretty bad. You might be more powerful than I am. But oh well. Duchy of Ulster. Enjoy it, son. And this one's one of mine. I still control it. Which, that's fine with me. So, that is straightened out. And now my vassal should just like me a hair more. Let's double check. I have a 25 down here. Who is this? Munster. Wrong government type. Honest first deceitful. I always have problems with the dodge... The Doges, whatever they are. Everyone else seems to like me. Let's see what I can do about this guy. A, he's not married. Let's take care of that. Let's grant you an honorary title. Maybe we can get you to like me a little more. We'll make you my master of the hunt. We will also... I cannot send gifts. I'm too broke. Range marriage. Between you and uh, who's this? My cousin. Maybe my cousin. My kinswoman. Maybe it'll be my kinswoman. There are a lot of women in my uh, court now. So she's 20. Who's the other one? 20, and I guess it was her, she was 56. We'll go with her. 
but not marry matrilineally. We'll do that. And we need to take care of my son. He is not married. I can't believe that. I can't make him get married. Why not? He's the heir to everything. He's one of my vassals, correct? Yeah, he's a duke. Curious. Let's look at this. Let's look at all gender women in prison. No married. No. And adult. Yes. Hopefully have a great house. What do we got? Sort you guys by rank. King of Sicily. My kinswoman. Lots of duchesses. Of Vasterbotten. Alright. Why are these all counties? Let's sort them by age. And I want him to be of my religion, yes. So maybe I don't care. What is that? Cavalry leader. So these are interesting. It's funny that women would have these traits. So we may just want him to find a woman with very good stewardship. Who's young. Let's sort back by age. I wish I could like put it search limits. Like I don't want one over... You know, like, 23. I want him to have a young wife. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of women. There we go. She's a kinslayer. Not Italian, crazy Italians. So, we're looking for 24 and under. Ideally, it'd be a leader, but really I just want someone with good traits. So I'm just kind of scanning traits. It's looking pretty good. Russian. 21 year old Russian has a 17. She's got good stats. She's ambitious though. Um, she's related to me? Ken's woman? But she's Norman and she's the princess of Sicily. Maybe we marry him to her. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Is that weird? Probably. It's probably weird. Would I do it? Probably. But it's probably weird. She has very high intrigue. She's a genius. There we go. I think it's going to be her. That genius trait's one I, I highly desire. And not hunchback. We're slow. Alright, I'm not thinking we're going to find much better. There's lots of girls, though. Lots of girls out there. Angry face. Mm -hmm. I mean, that one had pretty decent stats, too, so... It's looking like it's going to be that. I'm not seeing... I'm seeing a lot with good, like, military or, you know, things that don't matter. Like, she's, this one's pretty good. Uh, she's Greek. She's a genius. She's only 18. She's got bad attributes, though. Like, gluttonous. Gluttonous is so bad. So, remember her. 18 and 21 is what we're looking at so far. What was her... An eight. That's not very good. Hmm. I think we're going to have to go with one of those. 21 or 18. She's got good numbers, though. This one's really good. Quick. That's like a step below genius. 
Very good stats. Fortune Builder, it's Fertility. Hmm. Really tempting. I know this isn't the most exciting thing I could be doing, but... Sorry. I do want to try to get him married if I can. Okay, let's go down to the 21-year-old first. Come on. So many people. Was she 21? Or am I crazy? 21-year-old was just someone with good stats, right? Yeah, it was this one, the Russian. Then it was 18? Or 19? I think it was 18 for the genius. Ugh. Why can't I just search? Uh, she's also, also orthodox, because she's Greek. Skilled tactician. We're going to go with the, the one who's quick. I think that'll work. This one. She's good. And she's also the right religion. So, can I arrange marriage between her and my son? No. It's dumb. Why can't I? He's my son. Is it because he's his own... Hmm. Well, let's just marry her into the country anyways. She will not marry in. Okay, that was a bad idea. My bad. Okay. Let's see if we can get that genius at least. Try to get some women in our country. Let's arrange marriage. I don't think you're of anyone important, so. You should. She's an heir. Dang it. We could do something like this to try to find the smart ones. Was that someone with a 30? Wow. A 30 in diplomacy. These are some old women. Is that attractive? So the blue bullet thing is, or green bullet thing's quick. So she's quick. Let's see if we can marry someone up. There you go. And let's just see. We're going to use this method to try to find them. Just click on high stats. Old woman. Old women. Oh, he's old women. Smart. Scholar. Like a genius scholar would be great. Head to it. Alright, we're not having a lot of luck on this front, are we? I just have two people to marry off. Just, this will be quick, guys. Don't worry, don't worry, don't, don't, don't worry. If you're, if you're bored watching this part, you know, just hit subscribe, you know, follow, then fast forward. She's that countess, I can't marry her off. She's 53. Why are they all old? 38. Uh, you're too old to have kids, really, but... Maybe we can marry you to that old guy. Or just invite you to court. Nope. Ah, uh, he won't marry her. Unlikely to have children. Derp, derp, derp. Dude, you're 51. You're unlikely to have children. Don't blame it on the chick. She's half your age. Wow, all the smart ones are old. Or they're princesses. Which, in a lot of ways, kind of makes sense. Ooh, she's only 18. Let's get you going. Where are you to this guy? Alright, one more, guys. One more. Great house. Any. Ruler. No. Married. No. Adult. Yes. My culture. 
Any my religion? Yes. Okay. Here we go. I wish I could put like childbearing age. Yes. Let's click on this one. There we go. Twenty nine. Perfect. All right. Let's unpause it for a couple seconds here. Get some of these to pass. All right, would not be in your best interest. Okay. The Duke. What country are you? Of Blairgan's love. Where are you located? Uh, sure. I accept. Alright, let's go back to... I have no one left to... Maybe I can't propose that anymore. Since she said no. So these people are all scholars. Here we go. Nope, 66. Interesting. Possessed. That's not a good one. These are all 19 still, so... Oh, come on. How about someone not old? There was a 19. But not quick. Not quick! Alright, just need one more. Need one more. 72, obviously. I'm going to probably start my own. It's not going to be a let's play, but I'm going to do my design a ruler and probably play, try to play a um, Islamic country. Just an FYI. Seems like it could be fun. So if you guys have had a chance to do it, let me know what you thought. Because um, that's what I'm going to be doing next on my own. Mystics. 57. Come on. Ooh, 21. Good stats. And she's zealous. She's awesome. This chick is actually just awesome. Please marry my other guy. No. So, I guess she's too good for him? No one wants to marry this old dude. How about her? Yes, they will marry. Great, just to make them happy, whatever. So that's all done. Sorry about that, guys. And, like I said, what we're going to do is we want to give a little bit of time for our troops to rebuild a little bit. And get our vassal's opinion just to creep up just a hair. So, see, look at our max troops, 13,000 again. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it till the auto save coming up and then we're going to hire everyone back. Boom. Okay. Auto save. We're going to go ahead and hire, hire, raise, 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 and raise. I'm going to have all the troops that I can board their ships. So I'm going to pause it here while I just get everyone sorted out boarding ships, and then I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to just pause it here for just a second. Okay, guys, we're back. And unfortunately, you did miss something. My... Ooh, that's going way too fast. My silly son, um, who I gave some more land, is trying to usurp my title, obviously. Go figure. So we're going to get over here. Remember, our plan was to land on the places that could support us. And let's get... We're going to have a lot of troops. We may be able to do some damage now. So let's get our troops over here. We have like 27,000 total troops. So we're going to do some work. Just got to get them all here. Let's speed it up. But anyways, my child needs proper guardian. You'd make a great guardian. 
So my son's trying to take over my title, and I killed off the guy who was trying to gather the papers to make the claim or whatever. And I succeeded. Lost 10 pi 84, but that's okay. Alright, someone came of legal age, that's fine, don't really care that much. Alright, so one of our fleets is here, not worried about it. This is our small fleet. We're just waiting for our major fleet to get here. Oh, here they are. I had to hire a navy because I just didn't have enough people. Silly, right? Alright, so let's merge this up, and now let's... Um, now we need to... How do I make a different group? Reorganize unit, auto balance... Okay... How do I separate the fleets? Is there any way for me to do this? Maybe we need to find a place with a higher supply so I can unload crap. Crap cakes. I shouldn't have merged them all together, apparently. I didn't know that I wouldn't be able to separate them before landing. Right, I'm seeing some 22s. 9k. I guess we can just go back to our country here. This sucks. But let's do this. It sucks. If, if there's some way to split them up, let me know in the comments. I can't figure out how to split them. So we can take them over to my country here. They should not kill each other all off. We're going to go here. Alright. Now it's paused. Good. Now let's split. Organize a new unit. We need units of. Hold on. Let's check. Supply limit here is. I don't want that view. 15k. 15k. So we want, want two armies of 10 and one army of 7. Or 8. So let's reorganize this. Let's split this up too. New unit. And. We need a load capacity of 10,000. Bam. 10-1. Select. Now we need to split the other one up. And we're going to split it up to... I don't know. Ooh, there we go. We have 100 ships over. Move some of these back. 14, 13. All right, there we go. And we'll just balance it a little more. There we go. Select. All right now, these guys split them up. So we want one of the armies. We want to just be the seven thousand. Where's the big freaking armies? Okay, they're in order. You guys. And we will send you... You have heavy infantry and heavy cavalry. They're pretty awesome. I want to send more archers with you guys. There you go. 8,000. Uh, do I want them to be one of my 10,000s? Actually, we'll just do that. Select, and we will put you on a boat. Okay. And new unit. Is there an auto? No way to auto. Well, the easiest way would be to find Templar. And then add some guys to him. So we're going to add... Let's go with this one. Basically the city armies, because they have just light troops and archers. A little more. Just about 800 more in this P. Right. Bam. 
perfect. Board boats. Now I can, oh, I can just merge the fleets. Right? Yeah, and it just has two separate armies on it. Perfect. And board boat. Okay, I'm an idiot. Alright, now let's go back here. We're getting involved in this arm in this war in a big way. The reason I did 10,000 is because the NPCs will pit troops on my places. My coffers are empty. Farming for my lenders. Yeah, why was I negative? I make money like crazy. Whoa, why is my monthly expense so high? Is it this navy? Holy cow. What is costing me so much upkeep? Maybe it's until these guys are on land. So let's get my armies going. Let's just double check. Supply 15, 10, 15, and can't see. 15, okay, so we want to go onto these three here. And what's Jerusalem look like? 15, that's Jaffa. Jerusalem 7, so, okay. We're gonna have you go here. We're gonna have you go here. Let's do that. All right. And then we're gonna have you boat sail up here. And then we're gonna have you guys come here. And then we will go ahead and send all of our boats home, because I don't give a crap. Disband. Okay. Alright, so our monthly expenses should drop down. People have progressed beyond blah blah blah, okay. Where did our army go? Holy cow. All right, well, you guys go to Jerusalem. It's going way too fast. All right, where are they fighting? Go to Jerusalem. Or not, actually. Go down here. You... Just do what you're doing, I guess. Actually, I'll probably go over here and kill these guys. Alright. Looking good, looking good. Alright, so I'm gaining money again now that I got rid of the fleets. Holy cow, my troops are all dying. Uh, let's just go back here. Alright, we're gonna have to go help these guys. Speed it up just a little bit. Movement through here is so slow. Alright. This army is just murdering people. What happened to that army I disembarked? Man, they just got destroyed. We will capture Jerusalem. That guy's gonna evade me, watch. He's gonna get here right before I get there. Oh no, we get to fight him. Kill! Holy moly, where do all these guys come from? Come help! Why am I losing so bad? My morale is way better, but I was going down pretty quick there for a little bit. I have no morale. Uh, what about... Reorganize this unit. Auto balance. I can't put someone else in charge there. What about instead of you? 
that guy. Can I switch the flanks? 17. You have to stay there. Okay. Close. I don't care if that duke gets killed. Playing clean up city here. Okay. Just winning some battles, yo. That's all. Turning this war around. There's like no music right now. It's kind of sad. I'm just going to sit on these. They're going to send their big armies in eventually here and just crush us. Why would you move on top of me and start killing all my guys? NPCs, you're so annoying. So annoying whenever they sit their troops on top of you and you just start losing everyone. Alright, go down there and do some battle. Yeah, good job, guys. Duke Ursuri is no longer guardian. Your son. My son died in battle. What happened to him? Severe stress. <laughs> Alright, John Chan, the accursed was her Duchy of Ulster and all of the tiles from Prince Victory of Ireland. At age 21. That's okay with me. So we have to deal with a couple things. Number one, we need a new steward. Um, we'll go with this guy. He probably got injured in battle. Let's go back here. And you are going to be in charge of construction. We need to get rid of some titles. So let's do that. So let's see. I am the Duke of... Who's this? The Earl of Tyrone, the Earl of Ossory. You know what, bro? You like me pretty good. You're not ambitious. You're... Wait, what is that? Are you sick? He's a drunkard. Hmm. I need to make someone my... Let's do this. It's paused. Okay. We're going to search uh, the realm. Both. Not in prison. Can be married. Don't care. Uh, I can be a ruler. I don't care. My religion, yes. My culture, yes. Adult, yes. Great house, any. Who's got good stewardship? She does. She does not like me. So you're out of the running. She... Good stewardship, but she's a woman for one. She's got good stats. What about diplomacy? Who's good diplomacy? My chancellor. What is this? He's also a drunkard? Man, going to war makes you a drunkard, doesn't it? Brian, the Bishop of Ferns, Chancellor of Lannister. She's zealous. I need someone to take over. Who is that? They had a ton of good traits. It's a bishop. Let's uh, just go back to this. I think we will make... I think we're going to make this chick. She has no diplomacy though, so never mind. We're going to make this chick. A young chick who's arbitrary. You have suddenly ascended in power. We will give you an invite to court. You won't accept it, so wrong person. I guess they have to be my courier. Oh, this guy. You like me, right? Invite you to court. Is he? I'm curious how this will work out. So we have these three down here. We'll give him. What's this one? Purple. What will it do? Okay. Your vassal. So he's my vassal now. We're gonna grant you a. That's it. 
Now what about... Oh, this thing's not my... Okay, yeah, I should've done it this way. I just wish I could see their stats when I look at my court. You know what I'm saying? Stupid. Um, that guy is my, in my court, the guy I captured. Oh, she's my kinswoman. Let's, uh, grant you the title. What plot is she backing? Eh, well, we will grant you... I cannot grant you a landed title. Can't grant titles to women. Okay, we're learning. What about this guy? He's a kinsman. Yeah, man. Let's grant you a landed title. We will give you... What is that? Gwen... Something or other? And then also... We'll grant you a landed title. The duchy. So... That should help out. I do need to give away more titles, but I think we're okay for now. It's already been kind of a long episode, and I want to get some more done in the crusade. So we'll speed it up a little more. We're just going to continue sieging. Not the most exciting thing, but we're getting there. Oh, here comes a big battle. Come on, guys, help me. Come down here. Long auto save. Oop, title can be created. What's this? I can create the title. Ooh. Okay. I'm the King of Wales now. Sweet! Because this one is rebelling, I was able to create it. I don't get it. So now I have a claim on these. So let's see if they'll join me. Offer vassalization. She must be at peace. So once she's at peace, I can see if she wants to become my vassal. Sweet. That was awesome. Let's take care of this. Uh, educate child. Just find someone. I don't care who. Uh, you. Actually, we turned that battle around. We won it. Sweet. Their army kind of split up and fled. Now someone's sitting on top of my army, causing my guys to die. That's good. The rest of my sons are nowhere near the abilities of Duke Victory 1. He knew how to handle a sword and would have been a great Duke after my death. I have other sons. Maybe one of them can be worthy. Alright, we've got some stuff getting finished. And they are coming after me now that I've successfully defeated the first stage of Siege. We're just standing our ground. Alright, capturing more prisoners. I'm just going to let them rot in my prisons. We're actually winning now. Alright. Let's see who he is. Is he of any importance? He has a title. Mosque. So he's like a cleric? Very well, I'll be merciful. Just because he's clergy, I guess. We're winning this battle now. Me bringing that giant army definitely turned tides. Alright, they're attacking me, but I should repel them again. Yep. Repelled. Captured a lot of... Ooh, I captured a sheik. Let's check out our prisoners, and then we're going to actually call it an episode. So we got a sheik. Now, what would he be worth ransom? 70 gold, that's it? A uh, Shia. He is his own lord. 
What does he think of his ruler? Let's, can I go to your page? Sultan, age 16, likes him at 25. His heir... Hmm. 8, 12... He's actually worse than his son. So what we're going to do with this guy, let's see. Is that other holy order together? No. All right. So we're gonna release like the this guy. We'll just release him. I need a little bit of opinion with my vassals. And what do I get for ransoming this guy? Twenty-five gold. Not worth it. You're gonna just rot in jail. We're actually gonna go ahead and. Ransom this guy. And we're going to order a couple things to be built in our country. Since we uh, have some money sitting on us right now. How does my castle not have any of these upgrades? A oh, wrong castle. Expanded keep. Kind of liking that one. That's 400 gold though. This is where my son is at, or uh, my guy's at helping me grow, so it's a good place to do some upgrades. We'll do that one, it's only 100. This one, training ground, stable. Let's go with the fort level, it's cheap. Nah, it's irrelevant. Calvary. Whoops. We're just going to do a bunch of upgrades here just because this is where our um, our guy's at. Alright, that's good enough. Oh, well, let's just see. Yeah, nothing to be built here. And I already set one here. Set one here. Alright, we got everything building. And we're actually going to call it an episode right here, guys. So we're going to leave in the middle of the crusade, but we are now winning. If you look at this, uh, lots of defeats showing, but there are victories. And the victories were... Wow. Whose army is that? Pope Leo. 30,000. Where is this battle going on? Battle of Nebulus. Hold on a second. Wherever that's going on, that is a big army. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and tune in next time for more Crusader Kings 2 where we actually do crusades on giving out.